So here we have the box for the MRX Ergo Advance. And this is really a huge box relative to other mouse we've reviewed. For example, here's a packaging for the JTEC V628 vertical mouse, which we rated the best vertical mouse on our site, by the way. And you can see the, the difference here. So I'm really curious to see how big the actual mouse is. So I'm going to be opening it up right now. Here. We have this box here. So here's the mouse, and you can see it's really big. Just give you a comparison here. This is a normal laptop mouse, and you can see the difference is really noticeable. Open it here. This is the mouse itself. We have a nano receiver. So the Logitech MX Ergo lets you connect wirelessly to your uh, device in two ways. Using Bluetooth or what they call a Logitech Unifier receiver. And with this receiver, you can actually simultaneously connect to different, uh, two different devices at the same time. Uh, I mean, I'll talk more about this in my detailed review, but for now, let's take a look. Curious to see what's in here. So this looks like the cable to charge the mouse. This mouse doesn't use any batteries. Instead, it has a built-in lithium battery, and this is where you charge it. There is a base here. I'll talk more about this in a sec. So that's it for this packaging here. I'll set aside. I have this sticker here to remove. So the Logitech MX uh, Ergo is unique in two different ways. First of all, you can see that this is basically a regular highly contoured mouse. But instead of pushing the mouse around, there is no optical sensor. You're using a trackball to operate it. And this is beneficial ergonomically in the sense that you're not using your wrist or your hands at all. Your hands basically stay stationary. And the only energy you need to expend is basically your, your thumb to operate. And secondly, comes this truly unique feature, which is the ability to tilt the mouse on the side. So we have this metal plate here. And by default, when you position it like this, it's flat. But if I press down here, now it's at a 20 degree angle. And when you do this, you essentially turn this into a sort of a vertical mouse where your wrist and your hands are more aligned. And a lot of people find this much more comfortable than the default position when you operate a, a horizontal mouse, where you're twisting your wrist to operate the mouse. In this case, there's less twisting, right? And then if you want even a more pronounced vertical mouse, you have this base here that you, it's mag magnetic and you just slide it in. And now you have even more pronounced uh, tilt angle. And so this is, I believe, 30 degrees. So at this angle, it behaves almost like a vertical mouse and you further reduce the twisting between the hand and the wrist to operate it. So what I really love about this mouse so far, first of all, is the large profile. The uh, ability to tilt this mouse. And also the trackball. I think all these features I can see making a real big difference in terms of ergonomics and comfort over time. And, you know, a lot of people can't get used to a vertical mouse or find it less accurate and whatnot. With this Logitech mouse, I can easily convert it between a vertical mouse, a less pronounced vertical mouse, and I just snap this, or a regular horizontal mouse. And that's what's really interesting about this mouse. 